Welcome back to Scorn. Now that we've gained the ability to open doors, it's time to see what's through basically the very first door that we saw at the very beginning of the game. sound design the clink and the just the chime ringing out of this like metal apparatus opening sound design is so good i hear something very faintly that sounds like a creature scurrying around. It's coming from over there. Maybe I'll head to the right. It's like this entire place is or was alive and its entrails are just kind of spewing out in some areas. That's still alive to some degree, for sure. I don't like how any of this looks. Oh. Hmm. I think we're in like a nest of these creatures. Those things. Yeah, there's one sc scurrying away right there. In there, too. Well, th actually, that one seems too weak to move. There was one up there that was definitely mo moving. There's some that are alive and moving. Okay, this has two lit up dots. Our thingy only has one. So I assume we need to upgrade it, basically. Yeah, didn't do anything. Whoa. These gears? Or just like flywheels or something. Oh, look at these creatures, just like lines of their bodies. Like they all tried to go this way, but then we're too weak to actually do it. Oh, they're making like sucking, wet, goopy noises. Ugh. Horrific. Oh, is this the central? Yeah, that's the central way. Okay, let's go left then. Oh. Can't go that way either. Oh, wait. No, hold on. Our, our thing has two dots on it now. Oh, that machine wasn't requiring two dots. It was upgrading us to that one. Okay. That explains why we had to insert the tool instead of just using it remotely, like normal. Had to plug it in for a f firmware update. Um... I don't know if I should be afraid of these things or not. 
So far they haven't tried to attack me. Is it gonna rip through the... Mm. Oh. I think we can run it again. We might have to move these multiple times to allow entrance to different places. Like, if we run it again, what happens? I didn't remember the original configuration, unfortunately, so... I'm not sure. <laughs> I think that's about where I was originally. But yeah, that allows you to move through the walkway, I think. But we definitely want to walk through the bottom. So just two positions for this one, anyway. Mm. Mm. Okay, I don't think they're friendly. They don't seem to have eyes. Can they hear? I just don't move. Ah! Okay, they spew acid? How... How do you find me? It really doesn't look like I can see at all. Does it smell me? Does it hear me? Oh, Jesus, there's another one. That one looks... Wait, why does that one look different? It's got like a little wing... What the hell? Okay, it's going away. What about you? You look so different. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. It's like a little chicken thing. Oh, baby. I'm just going to try to leave it alone. Oh, what did I accomplish? I guess I opened up that walkway. Yeah. Where did the little chicken baby go? I don't know, but to be able to actually get to that part, I need to move this one again. so we can fully utilize the walkway. But the little baby went into one of those holes just like the other one. I hope so. I don't want to have to kill it. Okay, I need up on that walkway. Is it here? I think it is. Yes. Yeah, so we were here before, of course. Can I use this thing again? No. Like, I'm wondering, do I heal over time? Or is there some way to heal myself? Or, or what? Because, yeah, I think when it hit me, it took another chunk off my red bar. Not the four red dots, but the red bar below that, on the top left of the screen. So I'm missing two red bars. Oh, 
Oh. It's like a jellyfish almost. This looks like some sort of transportation cube, almost like an elevator, but it's actually grabbed by that crane arm. So maybe not. Okay, let's see what this mechanism does. Probably controls the crane arm. Oh no. How's it going, friend? You okay? Oh, oh yeah. Hmm, thanks. Oh, that took another bar of health. Mm. Oh, whoa. So it is for transportation. It's not exactly an elevator per se, but... I don't know what you'd call it, really. Like a cart system? <laughs> sort of? What's this one gonna do? Because that thing looks pretty... Pretty, uh, glued in there. Oh my god, ew. Oh. Hope that didn't stir up too much. I think the crate fell somewhere into the abyss, but at least I can walk down this way. Well. I don't know if I should bother trying to hit it, or just stay away and wait for it to go into a little hidey hole. This thing only works up close, is what I'm scared about. And that thing spits acid at me. I don't want to get anywhere near it. Let's hang back. Where are you going, little guy? Yeah, good. Good, good, good. What's that sound? Yeah, it's trying to pull itself away. It's like stuck to all these these innards. It's like glued to it. Glued into it. Kind of like I have been at various points. This place just seems to want to absorb everything. Oh. Oh, is that a big one? Oh. Oh god. It's so heavy it can barely move. What hold on, what is it dragging exactly? Oh. Ah! Oh my god! Ow! I think it was dragging a bunch of other, like, dead ones, actually. I don't think it was a big one. I think it was a normal one. 
<laughs> baby, no. No, baby. There's a bunch of control panels down there. What's this way? Oh, a lot of pathways. Let's check the control panels out here first. Something about this is giving me ship vibes. Like this feels like the prow of a ship or something. And like this wheel I guess made me think of it too, just because it sort of looks like a boat wheel. Don't know if that's intentional or not. Okay, what do you do? What happens if I use you? Try to grab a thing. Let's try your different positions. How many different positions are there? Just two? Yeah, just two. I don't see anything to grab here either, but let's try it. Nope. It seems to rely on, I don't know, magnets or something. Like, it's not a grabber arm like the, uh, the other one. Where was it? Like, oh, I guess there's one there. Yeah, it's not a grabber arm. It's like a magnet thing. Or maybe a vacuum thing. I don't know. Anyway, what do you do? Oh! Well, this whole thing goes up and down. I love how this whole game just has the vibe of, like I said before, I'm, I'm stuck in some factory built for God knows what horrible purpose, and I'm just left with all this machinery, and I'm just left to try to figure out how the fuck the factory works and what it was built for. That's such a cool experience. I'm just like, what, is, what are these for? What are they for transporting? Why does it work like this? Why is it engineered like this? Well, there's still nothing to grab. I need one of those cubes. Yeah, one of those things. Let's go back down. I think we came from that side. Is gonna sp oh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. I'm worried he's gonna spit something at me, and it did just that. God damn it. Oh, I think there's a healing thing over there. Thank God, I need that. Especially since at any moment my um, friend might hug me a little tighter and take away even more health. So if I'm on one health bar, I could just randomly die at any point, I think. Will this heal me? I like, I feel like it will. Fill up two more circles. Which means two more circles are filled up, but my actual health bar didn't go up. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Forget this thing for now. Let's go this way.
So I need to get a cube there for that to work. Hmm, if I step in this, it's going to try to close and move. Hmm. I don't know. Let's go this way first. Well, no, let's try this. Will it work? No. Yeah, you can see it try to engage, but it's just stuck on all these things growing into it. It can't. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. That's just one of those things. Fucking hell. Coming out of the gloom, I thought it was like the giant mouth of a monster or something. Fuck. Ah. No, 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 no. Well, we moved a cube up somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. But it's progress. We have a cube. Oh. We took it from there. I hope my little friend is gone. Nope. Nope. It's still there. I think I have to kill it. Wait. Oh, I think it went into there. Okay. Whew. Oh. It's an alternate exit now. That wasn't there before. another one of these machines. This should get me to max, right? What happens when I get to max? It looks like it still has more left in it. And what happens when I get to max is absolutely nothing. I have no idea what this thing is or represents. My best guess is health, but... Maybe... When my health bar goes to zero, maybe it consumes one of those circles and then it goes back to max. If so, that would mean I have a lot of health, though, so I kind of doubt it. Chicken friend. Oh, there's another friend over there. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh. I think it's coming. I think that was the sound of it going into a thing. Scurrying away. Yeah, okay. Okay. Whew. Oh, you look too alive. I'm worried you're gonna spit at me. There's so many of them just crawling around, it's hard to tell which one's like a real threat or not, you know? 
Is this anything? No. Hmm. Oh. Uh oh. I choose you. It's still not dead. They're not easy to kill. Oh no, you're gonna spit at me. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, okay, I think we're okay. Oh, the tip. Oh no, it's a little chicken. Oh my god, that's so gross. Not the chicken itself, it's kind of cute, although a bit gross. Oh, it's twitching. Ugh. Just the whole, everything, just... <laughs> this tool getting covered in blood and just the sound and everything is just, ugh. It's so visceral and disgusting. The sound design is absolutely brilliant. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that sound? Oh, did we, uh, we're moving this thing more and more up, I think? Like, level by level? Yeah. Alright, we got it up and over. Oh, oh no. Oh! Let me through, let me through. Oh, oh, they're angry, they're angry. Oh Christ, there's a lot of them. Oh, I don't think they... Yeah, that's blocked off. All right. Whew. Whew. What is... What is this? Do I take this? just traveling on its own now. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, there's two other slots, but they don't have this thing in it. I can't even use any of them at all anymore, so I, I don't need to do anything more with that. That looks like an important tool there. I have no way of getting to it, though, at the moment. Just have to wait for it to come back up and then go across. Even it's all covered in blood from pushing through all those creatures. Whoa, 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 whoa. Would you stop digging around in my fucking insides? I'm only at two bars of health now. What is this? 
Is this a gun? Basically. At the moment it doesn't have any ammo. Okay, so it doesn't use the orbs in the top left or anything like that. I guess it uses the stuff on the bottom right. So I need ammo for it. Can I switch between... Oh yeah, that's switching your things. We have our uh, attachment system. <laughs> like, the handle's the same. But what attaches to that handle changes. So at the moment, I want this. Oh wait, that looks like ammo. Oh my god, that's so cool! So this holds my ammo and my... health? Question mark? Hmm. Oh, I just pressed reload and yeah. I mean, this thing doesn't have unlimited ammo, so ammo is very limited. I, I think I don't even want to test fire this ammo so limited. I'll test fire it on an actual creature. Ugh. Whoa, that sounded like an actual gun! Oh! Okay, we get to see what happens when we get to the bottom of the bar. Does it consume one of those circles? One of those dots? Mmm. No. So what are those dots that I'm, like, pumping up into my thingy? Let's try this again. God, what a brilliant, like, ammo system. Oh, everything about that is just brilliant. Okay, let's try not to die this time. Two shots and they're down. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh, three shots for those. I don't know if, like, headshots are worth more or what. Might be hard to tell what's the head on some of these things. This thing's fairly slow firing, but it's decently accurate if you give it enough time to be accurate. It's weird to have a gun now, but I mean, it's bizarre enough and slow enough and limited in ammo enough that um, this is certainly not going to be the run and gun shooter by no means. <laughs> But I'm very low on health, so I really think I should stick to trying to shoot things from afar rather than using melee to try to conserve ammo. Because I need to conserve health. Oh, this is the thing I saw that looked important. Yeah, what is this? Okay. If we use it, it... Whoa. Oh, if you look at the things that I'm rotating, there's like a little section on it that looks different from the rest, and when it hits, like, the center, the part that's connected to the center, it, like, locks forwards and then the light turns on. Do you see it? Like, if you look at the one on the right. So I guess I'm trying to line those all up. Oh, this one works differently. Oh, this one... I can connect it to the end to get that light going, but I can also connect it to one of the other ones to uncouple it. So then I can move this one without it affecting either other one. 
There we go. I, I have no idea how to explain that puzzle. I understand it, but it's very, very difficult to explain. It's a cool little puzzle, though. I like it. Oh, that's another one of those controller things. There was that bank of like three, I don't know, almost like batteries, and there was only one filled. I think that's another one of those. Bye. Yeah, it goes into that thing. See, that's good level design. They put the thing it needs to go into right across from where you are, so you can just look at it and see it and be like, oh yeah, that thing. Oh. oh, every noise scares me. I don't suppose more ammo has just appeared? No. This isn't the sort of game that has regenerating ammo or regenerating health. Thanks, third hand. So what is this gonna do? Oh, it unlocks that level. I see. So the elevator goes there regardless. The unlock just makes us so you can actually go there <laughs> once you get on the elevator. You know, if you want to get off the elevator. What a weird elevator system. It's so overly complex. Instead of locking the elevator on certain floors, they locked the floor and they unlocked the elevator. Like, just why would you do that? That's so bizarre. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe it'll go away. Let's ride one cycle and hope they're gone by the time I get back. There's two of them. Oh. Wait, yes, it's going away. It's going away. It's going away. Yes, yes, yes. Whew. Oh, chicken. Now I'm already full, aren't I? So what's this gonna do? That mist of pressurized blood is so gross, and I think it did nothing. Chicken's gone. Oh. Do we have another one of these to do? What I'm wondering is if I'm in this thing and the chicken comes along, am I just, like, dead? How does that work? Nah, I think it's gone. I think we're safe. Okay, now that there's a new one, maybe I can explain it? Assuming this one works... No, okay, this one has a different number of these things. Mm. Okay, here's my best attempt I, I can possibly come up with to explain this. Some of these don't have extra levers on them. For example, this one, right? There's no, like, big thing spinning off of it like this one. Yeah, this one doesn't have any special levers. All of these need to have their little wedge put into the slot for them. So the one I have selected, I'm about to turn it into the wedge. There, it engages and that turns the light on. So every single one of these needs to be placed into its place. Even this one with the big thing sticking out of it has its own little wedge, which needs to be right there. However, 
The only way you can engage the light at the bottom is with this long swinging arm coming off of this, hitting the bottom. So that's going to hit the bottom, and when it's in the position to hit the bottom, this one is not engaged with its little slot. The light on this one's not on, how do we fix that? We fix that by swinging the arm around to one of the other ones that doesn't swing on an arm. And then when we switch to the other one and rotate that, it rotates the center, like the thing that has the arm swinging to it. It rotates that without moving the arm. So we can match up the arm that's swinging out with its little wedge, and we move it back around, and now they both sync up. Does that make any sense? <laughs> I hope that makes some sense. It's really hard to explain, but it's a cool concept. There we go. Yeah, that one was a bit more complex, just because there's more nodes. It's still not too bad. And we get another... Well, not really battery, another key, I guess. Let's check on my friend. How you doing with all those items? Thanks. Still doing a good job? As my personal assistant? <laughs> oh. Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's gonna spit at me. Okay. It's gone. Wait, no, it's not gone. It comes back. Jesus. I think I need to shoot it. I have four shots left. Enough to take out two of the smaller ones or one of the bigger one, I think. Oh, this this goes nowhere, huh? Oh damn, I thought I needed to go this way. Actually, the unlock might unlock this. this. It might free this up. Maybe I do need to go this way after I put the next key in. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I'm low on ammo and low on health. Please. Please, little dude, please. Oh, come on, little guy. Go back to your pen and find some bugs to eat or something. Too smart for me. Fuck off. Mm. Are we okay? Are we okay? We're okay. Oh. This elevator doesn't do anything for my nerves. With the loud noise and the fact that sometimes it's just not there when you want it, when you need it. Yeah, that didn't clear that place out, so I really don't need to go there. But now we can go to the bottommost level. can grab the cube. Thank you. 
Okay, now I can grab it. From this thing. Which one? Uh, this... This one operates the elevator portion of it. This one operates the crane. We need to go up now. Yeah, there's nothing on the other position, so I think it just goes here into the claw. Hopefully it auto-grabs, yes. Should be operated by this. I'm not sure what our ultimate goal is, but just following the steps. 